Okay, so in this first video in our series of material and energy balance, we will go over a few things, including unit conversions and basic formulas. And so the first thing to get started is if you're given something like this, 3.79 meters, the numerical value is 3.79 and the unit is meters. Units are very important in uh, chemical engineering. And so if we're given something like this, 3.79 meters plus 5 inches, it's not 8.79. You have to make your units match. So in this case, we have meters and inches. So if we were to solve this problem, we could convert this to inches and our final answer would be in inches. So this is important to note. Units must match for addition and subtraction. Now, for multiplication and division, it's a bit different. Say we have 10 meters and we divide it by 5 seconds, then we have 10 divided by 5 is 2, meters divided by seconds, and meters divided by seconds is velocity. So that's something important to uh, take note of. Now, some basic unit conversion that you should probably uh, memorize. 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. 1 kilogram is about 2.2 pounds, 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet, and 1 newton is equal to 1 kilograms times meter divided by seconds. So this is essentially saying that the units for newton is equivalent to kilograms times meter divided by seconds. Next, 1 pound force is equal to 32 point 174 pound mass times feet divided by seconds and typically when we solve problems we have to deal with gravity and so for earth it's going to be 9.8 meters divided by second squared which is equivalent to uh, 32.174 feet divided by second squared um, this is some very basic formulas that we should uh, memorize and later as we continue the series there will be more formulas to remember uh, now, basic formulas, density, super basic, mass over volume, and we could rearrange this equation to get mass is equal to density times volume. We're simply rearranging equations, and typically with mass material energy balance problems, we typically we have to rearrange uh, equations. And lastly, work is equal to mass times gravity times height. And in the next uh, set of videos, we will do actual problems.